This is Mike Callis with Cooperative Media, reporting from the CTA Blue Line at Chicago's train station. I'm here with Jason Page, and we are going to Occupy Chicago, the protest against Wall Street banksters. Uh, we're going to head down there and get the real story, because the truth has yet to be told on the mainstream media, so we're here to get the story ourselves. For the last two weeks, there's been hundreds of activists who have been converging at this central point in solidarity with the protests on Wall Street. We're heading over there now to get some interviews on the street and hear what people have to say. Standing here at Jackson and LaSalle, across from the Federal Reserve Building. And we're here at Occupy Chicago. Now we're gonna do a couple street interviews and find out what people think. Would have been down here the first day, but I didn't know about it. I just I got a, a, a news clip. Uh, I just happened to be watching the TV, which I don't watch too often. But uh, they mentioned uh, something on the south. I was like, okay, I know exactly what that is because the Federal Reserve's down here. So you know, I, I came right down here, and I'm gonna be here every day. There's all different individuals out here that came out for different reasons. Most of people came out because they're sick of the politicians lying and waiting for change and you know they're in, they're in debt they're they're fight they need a job it's wonderful man everybody's uh man you got people from everywhere man i've seen blacks latinos whites asians i mean everybody you got all kind of groups you got a rich poor i mean it's been great this is what democracy is about being able to uh, having the right to assemble you demoralize a society, they're easier to control, they're easier to manage, they're not politically involved, they're only concerned with their own gain, and this is completely different because we got live music and food and people taking care of each other, so whatever it is, you know, I'd still be here, and so as long as there's people willing to talk and open-minded and non-violent. I think it just shows you that others are wanting to find answers and meet up with other people and, and figure it out together. This uh, sign I made myself and I think this uh, website has a lot of information on it about the root of the problem. There are many problems in America right now, but I think the root of them is the money in politics, that uh, now you can buy elections and that uh, the politicians are not working for the people, they're working for their next contribution to their campaign. We're the strongest country in the world, most aggressive, we have the biggest military in the world, but we're in debt. And when somebody told me, they said, well, who are they in debt to? It was a big question. And come to find out we're in debt to the people that own this company right here. And, you know, as I learned about it, I'm like, hey, you know, we should be printing our own money. What are we doing paying these people right here to uh, print money for us? And then we owe them interest on it. It just seemed like a big scam. It's private. It's literally a cartel of, you know, international banks and uh, if you go from the inception 1913 every see I'm gonna ramble man every congressman that's gone after the Fed and tried to get it audited it's never been audited in 90 years but no it's more than 90 it's about it's about 100 years right now yeah actually finally got audited by like Ron Paul and like Kucinich that passed, passed the bill yeah they passed that is and it being audited they audited it and they found 16 trillion dollars in loans that were unaccounted for to uh, the in fluoride in the Chicago water because they're killing us with that Kim Trails, I'd like them to stop doing that. So I'm just down here for a lot of reasons. Oh man, this is so much wrong. I mean, you could pick your issue and there's a whole movement for it. You know, GMO, you know, fluoride in the water, chemtrails like that guy was talking about, uh, fiat currency, crime, homelessness. It all connects, basically. I met a, uh, an Iraq a veteran of the day. He didn't know about Oath Keepers. You know, he didn't know about... Um, uh, Iraq for sale, that movie. You know, so I put him up on a couple things and he taught me a couple things. You know, he told me a lot of people are waking up, you know, uh, to the 9-11 truth movement. Independent media is for sure the way to go. You know, we have to do it now before they start censoring it. So, um, yeah, that's it. And getting back to a sound currency that's based on something. You know, getting jobs back so we can produce things and be sufficient. Because if we're not sufficient, if we don't make our own arms or we don't make our own food or farm our own food, how can we last as a country? We're dependent on so many nations and it's, you know, that's globalism, man. You know, they always say it's going to help, but it never does. I would like to see uh, a lot of things get exposed. I would like to see these fake wars 
cease. You know, we, we can't occupy the whole world. Uh, you know, we're invading all these countries that are, uh, you know, for the wrong reasons. You know, Bin Laden, he's supposedly dead now, so we need to get out of Afghanistan. Iraq, we shouldn't have went there in the first place. Uh, now we're dealing with Libya. I mean, we're, we're picking on it. Syria. I mean, we're everywhere, and it's a shame. We're spreading the troops thin. We're spending too much money in too many countries besides this one. So I would like to see an end to the wars. I would like to see an end to these corrupt crooks, the Federal Reserve, a lot of these banksters on Wall Street. I don't. I've never lived through. I don't think any of us put together in our years have like lived through real like capitalism. It's like corporate capitalism. It's like crony capitalism. You know. Looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. In your daily life, you know, just do something that you aren't afraid of, that, that you want to do. If you want to say hi to someone, if you want to compliment someone, or, or you know, just do it. You know, just don't be controlled. The best part of being out here is the act of generosity shown by these people. We're trying to show that uh, instead of taking from people, it's about giving. Looking to some back to the community, and as a way to show that, here we got a free pizza for all the activists out here occupying Chicago, trying to feed people, give them the strength to go on through the night. We got a lot of work ahead of us. We got to stay fed. What a Aside from the great pizza, we got a whole assortment. We got cookies, coffee, all the necessities to keep you through the night. Once again, this has been Mike Callis reporting for Cooperative Media and Multiculti TV, uh, live from Occupy Chicago downtown at Jackson and LaSalle, right in front of the Federal Reserve Building.